Welcome to Python Intermediate 4, Inheritance. Every video will have all slideshows and code available in the description. Inheritance is the concept of a class inheriting features from another class, making it a subclass. This is useful if you have more than one class that use the same variables or methods, so rather than adding them to both, you make a base class with them and have your other classes inherit them, keeping your code neat and specific to the class. For example, Let's say we're making a pet history program. While we have a class for each type of pet, they all have things in common. They have names, ages, and details. Rather than adding each of these fields to every class, we could create another class called pet, and all the other classes can inherit from. So, let's talk about some of the terminology used in inheritance. First of all, we have the base class. This can also be referred to as the superclass. We also have the subclass, subclass inherits from a base class or superclass, hence being a subclass. If you like, you can even have a subclass of a subclass. In fact, you can inherit as many times as you like. So, let's have a look at inheritance and what it looks like. So let's create a file called pets.py. So I'll come across to Ubuntu. And I'll create a file called pets. .py. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to create a class called pet, and this is going to be our base class. So, class, whoop, class, and it's going to be called pet. Now, inside our pet class, we're going to define our initializer. So, def underscore underscore init underscore underscore and we're going to pass in self as always and we're going to pass in a name and an age and we'll set those attributes up so self dot name equals name and self dot age equals age and that's our pet class defined now what we're going to do is we're going to create a cat class, so class cat, but this time we're going to inherit from pet, so we open up brackets and we type in pet, because that's the class that we want to inherit from. Okay, so now we go into our class and what we're going to do is we're going to create another init function, so our initialization for this class, init underscore underscore and we're going to pass in self, a name, and an age. Okay, so now inside our in, uh, initialization function, what we're going to do is we're going to call the uh, initialization of our superclass, so the pet class. And to do this, we type pet for the class dot underscore underscore init underscore underscore open brackets and we just pass in all the stuff that we did, did before name and age okay so now what we've done is we've created our cat class and it uses all of the attributes from our pet class okay now we'll test out using this uh, inherited class so we'll define our main function Def main, and what we'll do is we'll create a object called the pet, and this will just be a pet class, and we'll set the name to pet, and we'll make it age one. So this is an object of pet, so the base class. Now we'll create a object called Jess which will be a cat and the name of the cat will be Jess and Jess will be three years old okay so now we have two objects we have a pet object and we have a cat object and the cat object also inherits from the pet class so we can test to see that inheritance is working by using the isInstance function. So what we'll do is we'll write some print 
printouts. So we'll do is Jess a cat? And then we'll add a string. And inside here we're going to do is instance of Jess a cat. So is our Jess object a object of class cat? And we'll close that off. And now we'll do another print statement. So is Jess a pet? And then we'll add our string is instance Jess a pet. And then we'll do two more. So print is the pet the pet a cat string is instance the pet a cat and print is the pet a pet Plus, str is instance the pet a pet. Okay, and now what we'll do is we'll just print out uh, Jess dot name. So the attribute from uh, the pet class that was inherited into the cat class is the name. Okay, now we'll call our main. So if it's going to score, whoops, underscore and score name is equal to main. Oops. Then we'll add run main. Oops, I must have missed a quote. I did. Okay, so let's save this and we'll give it a run. So python pets.py. Now as you see we get our printout. So is is Jess a cat? It's true. So Jess is an object of cat. Is Jess a pet? Which is true. So it did inherit it, inherit from pet, so it is a subclass of pet. True. Is the pet a cat? It's false, because the pet does not inherit from cat. Cat inherits from pet, so the pet can't be a cat. And is the pet a pet? Which is true. And then we print out the name of uh, Jess. So that all works quite well. Okay. So there's one more important topic to inheritance, which is called polymorphism. Polymorphism is the concept of defining a method in your base class that must be overrided by a subclass. Each subclass has a different implementation of the method. So when the superclass method is called, it chooses which method to run depending on the subclass. So, let's add some basic polymorphism to our program. So what we'll do is we will create a method that's called talk, which will make a different uh, output depending on what the subclass is. So. We'll also add dogs. Okay, so let's open up to edit again. And we're going to create a method for our pet class called talk. So def talk self. And inside this method, because it's going to be an abstract method, meaning that it needs to be overridden, we are going to raise an exception if it's called without being a subclass. So arrays not implemented error. And we can also put a custom string in here. So we can say subclass must implement abstract method. And that'll be the error message we get if somebody tries to call the talk method on the pet class. 
Okay, so now that we've got that uh, method ready to be inherited, inside our cat class, we're going to override it. So def talk, talk, and that'll take self. Okay, inside this, because it's overriding, we're going to return a string of meow, the sound that a cat makes. And we've overridden that there. So let's also create another class. And this is going to be our dog class. And dog is also a pet. Now we'll define our initializer for it. So def underscore underscore init underscore underscore self name and age. And we'll call our pet superclass in it and we'll set our variables by our attributes okay now we're going to create our talk function because we must override it so def talk self and we'll return Woof. Okay. So we've we've over in our functions, well our methods, and now we can change up our main to test it out. So inside our main, we'll remove all of our current code that we have. Because we don't need that anymore. And we'll test out our polymorphism. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to create a list. So we'll call the list pets and we'll make that equal to a cat object. It's going to be in the first slot and I can have the name Jess. And Jess can be three years old. And we'll add a dog object and the dog can be Jack. And that can be age two and we'll add another cat and that can be Fred and he's seven and then just for testing and to see how it, how it looks when we try and call a uh, call the talk function on pet we'll add a pet object and we'll call it the pet and the pet can be five okay so we've got a list of four objects. We've got a cat object, a dog object, and another cat object, as well as a pet object. Okay, so what we're going to do now is we're going to go for pet in pets. So we're going to go through each of the ob uh, objects in the list, and we're going to print out some information about them. So print we'll do name plus pet dot name and then we'll do age and we have to turn that to a string because pet dot age is a integer pet age and we'll add what it says so says plus pet dot talk and we call the talk function now it will automatically assume that inside that list are all pet objects because they're all instances of pet objects even though they're subclasses because they still inherit from a superclass it'll generalize them all as the superclass okay so now we can save this and run it. So if we run it, you'll see we get name Jess, age three, says meow. And name Jack, age two, says woof. And name Fred, age seven, says meow. And then we get an error, which is our pet class. And you'll see down the very bottom just before 
uh, we go back to the terminal, we have not implemented error. Subclass must implement abstract method. This is the error message that we wrote inside those brackets. So if you get this kind of error, you know that you've uh, not implemented it correctly. Okay. So, now that we've covered that, we'll go on to one last subject, which is called multiple inheritance. It's just as it sounds, you can inher inherit from more than one class by separating each class with a comma when defining a new class. However, be careful when doing this. You can cause yourself a lot of trouble if you have identical attribute names in two or more base classes. The same goes for methods. And this concludes our look at inheritance. I hope you now have an understanding of how inheritance works. Uh, extra code will be available in the code.txt in the slides folder, as well as a challenge task. I highly recommend doing the challenge task for this uh, tutorial because it will give you a much greater understanding when you actually have to do inheritance yourself. Uh, don't fear if you don't remember all of this, you can easily come back and rewatch this video to consolidate all the information. Inheritance can be quite hard to grab if you don't try it out. So if you have any questions, feel free to leave them in the comments. Next we'll be covering iterators and generators. Thanks for watching.